happy Sunday. Hello, Editing G here, just coming in quickly to say that I do actually have clothes on in this clip, just like what it looks like. Um, I think I have a towel on or like a boob tube top on. So <laughs> please excuse that, I'm so sorry, but yes, carry on with the video. I just wanted to preface this clip. <laughs> hey, um, I thought that I would update you all on my book because this is my um, reading popular book talk books um i am on chapter 28 can you see that chapter 28 oh chapter 28 kai um and it i'm about 50 percent through i'm reading it and listening to it um at the same time i was just in the bath so i just listened to chapter 27 but now i'm going to start reading it and listening to it again um i wanted to get back on the powerless hype because i know that it is so popular on book talk i will give you guys i'm um, also i do have a towel on i'm not naked um it's not that type of channel but yeah i thought i would give you guys my thoughts um i'm about 200 pages in according to my kindle about as i say 50 percent through i have loads of thoughts on it to be totally honest with you um, I will share them all, but at the moment I am there deep in the, like, friends, friends? Enemies um, to lovers, because obviously there's an enemies to lovers trope. It's Reckless, the Powerless um, books too. It's really popular. I didn't love Powerless, but I thought, let me give Reckless a go. Um, and so far they're doing, like, this mission thing together. Not mission. They've, like, escaped somewhere together. I won't give it away. But um, we're deep in, like, the, the enemies to lovers. The enemies to lovers feels a little bit too, like... It's kind of like she's she's Googled what's popular and what sells and put it in the book. It doesn't feel very, like, authentic and genuine. <laughs> But I thought that I would catch up with you guys because I've now finished Reckless, which was the first video in this, like, reading popular books uh, from Goodreads because I know that that book series is so popular. Um, I will say I have quite a few thoughts. <laughs> I didn't enjoy it as much. I think I gave it, like, a three stars. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, I was reading Reckless by Lauren Roberts, which is the second one in the Powerless... I don't know if it's, like, a... I don't know what it's called, um, and I don't know why it gets the hype, well I do, because I feel like she's just written books, BookTok's great, and book, books being popular on BookTok is fantastic, and I'm such a BookTok girly, like if someone's like, I've read this book and it's really great, I'm like, I'll add it to my TBR immediately, but do I think that sometimes it may have diluted the, like it feels like she knows what's popular if so if you write a great book and then it gets popular on book talk that's one thing but i feel like she kind of knew the tropes to use like the touch her and you die and the like enemies to lovers like all of that type of thing it just felt so overdone and so like nothing i know i felt this about the first book and the fact that they said that this book was like a filler like i'll never understand that like why do a filler book what is the point so i kind of like struggled my way through the second half of it and i listened to most of it i'm not gonna lie i read like along as i was going but i like listened to some of it at work just to get it finished because i was kind of like this is just so generic now like the enemies to lovers like they, nothing happened nothing happened there was no plot there was no like they were just kind of going, like, walking through this, the, the desert together for the past, like, like, for the last 30% of the book, and, yeah, they, like, hated each other, but then would, like, love each other, like, there was just nothing going on, so, I don't know if she's, like, written that purely for book talk, which I think, like, if so, is, like, let's just do better, let's make books on book talk popular, because, like, they, they're, they're original, and they're, like, you know, they're great to read, not, like, let's make all these micro-tropes so strong in our book that then, it, like, everyone loves it because she knows, like, and I get it, like, that stuff sells, so 
I totally get why authors are gonna like want to capitalize on that but oh just closed the ring on my apple watch but yeah i i knew i was gonna feel this way about this book i don't think it's 100 percent original i don't think it's 100 percent unique i kind of knew what was coming right at the end when if for anyone who's like read the book you'll know what i mean like when like the whole thing with kit happened at the end i feel like it's so obvious <laughs> I think I gave it like a 2.5 stars so I need a good book to get into this week morning lovely people um I oh god I always um is what I've realized you know like videoing yourself and talking you you pick up like the little habits that you do and I'm always umming and I'm so sorry I bought a new candle yesterday and just like buying new candles and like new smells like itch a part of anyone else's brain or is it just me because Oh my god, it's sandalwood, sandalwood, and I literally went and looked around TK Maxx at all like the autumny candles. I didn't end up picking up an autumny one because I'm, I parts of autumn I can get behind like Gilmore Girls. Um, Harry Potter for me is more like a wintry thing, but like Gilmore Girls I can get behind and can't get behind pumpkin spice things. Like, ugh, but like think parts of autumn I can get behind like getting crazy getting the nits out um I'm actually going to Dubai in October so I don't feel like I can get autumn yet but um yeah I'm not an autumn gal so all of the like orange themed things I was like Meh. but I thought I would update you on reading um I'm into my second so I picked up let the right one in because I just fancied like a little bit of a something different out of my comfort zone but literally couldn't get into it read like 34 pages and it was just a bit too like horry and suspensey for me and it was like scaring me hold on let me move you guys I've been watching this is my current setup I have been watching um I don't know if anyone else has watched this I've just told Elise to start watching it but it's called tell me lies and it is based on a book and I have the book on my kindle but I don't know if I'll ever get around to reading it but I've been watching tell me lies and I have been reading on my kindle um mainly watching the show and that's how I know it's like a good show for me when I read but I mainly just watch so I have been reading the second book in this in this reading popular goodreads books is Credence by Penelope Douglas now this book has interest me in the look this book has interested me for so long yeah sorry as i was saying the camera battery just flashed at me but so i'll keep this quick um penelope douglas i read uh, punk 57 and i didn't really enjoy it last year it's one of the books that i picked up from our 66 book um haul also i got rid of my side tables yesterday i was having like a bit of a clear out and i need something for this 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 space um but i just can't think of of what i need for there so i'm on the hump for something there um so excuse the space but i read punk 57 and i didn't really enjoy it credence everyone talks about this book and when i tell you that i have major fomo because like, i haven't read this book all i know is it's about a girl who goes um to live with like some of her extended family and gets like snowed in and i think it's quite raunchy but sometimes like you're just in the mood for like a little raunchy like So I'm about two chapters in, uh, probably like about 30 pages. I didn't read loads yesterday because I ended up having like bits to do. But it's very Wattpad-y, the writing, um, which I do enjoy. I have been known in my past to enjoy a Wattpad. Um, so I'll keep you guys updated on that. But I'm so scared reading this book because of the amount of book talk hype. So yeah, pa uh, Reckless was the first in this book, uh, in this video. Oh my God. Yes, let me say that again. So Reckless by Lauren Roberts was the first in this video of reading popular books and now we're taking a different turn um and reading credence by penelope douglas which is one of the more popular like i'd say like is it dark romance or is it just like romance but saucy i think some of the subject some of the topics might be a bit taboo so i think it is probably like on the dark darker romance side of things but as i say i'll let you guys know how i get on i'm 20 pages in so we're just kind of setting the scene 20 30 pages in i'm gonna try and read a load today and i'll keep you guys updated on any weird bits um i'm so scared i'm so scared about reading this book because book talk either you love this or you hate this so i will give you my opinions as i go it's nearly 600 pages. <laughs> I can 
louder from book talk um she may have a thing with the uncle which doesn't sit right with me but um he's already been like don't call me uncle I'm not your uncle, really. And, like, saying, like, oh, she thinks... Or, like, he made a comment about how he remind, she reminds him of, like, her mum. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why people like... I'm scared. I'm, like, reading it and, like, I'm scared of what's going to happen. But what I will say is it's really easy to digest and it's, like, Wattpad writing. Um, so it's nothing... It's, like, no no brain cells, all vibes. So I'm literally having a peppermint tea and I'm going to try and read a little bit more... Um, this afternoon, this right. evening, and he walked around with his with no top on, and she's met one of the brothers. Um, I think there's another brother that she hasn't met yet. Caleb, she's met Noah. Um, she hasn't met Caleb. Who knows? Who knows where this is going? Actually, I think I do know where this is going, and there's some freaks on Book Talk. I might be one of them. I might this might this book might get me, you know? I might be into my sort of darker romance vibes. I don't know. Mm. But yeah, stay tuned, fifty pages in and it's very PG so far. Very PG. I will like, keep you guys updated. Camera literally does nothing. Any justice. Hold on. Is there any justice in the world? You would be my... Anyway, the sunset is gorgeous. But you can't see it, so... Hey! It's just me, still reading her Goodreads uh, book talk books. I keep saying Goodreads books. It's because Slice is filming a Goodreads video this week. And I'm getting them confused, but... I haven't read today. It's half seven. Um, I've literally just put some candles on. The sunset is so gorgeous. I'm going to try and show you. Hold on. It's amazing, like, I'm such a little sucker for a sunset. Oh, you can see it. How beautiful is that? Oh, my goodness. Yes, so, oh, also, look at this. This is my friend. Oh, this is my friend. Hey, girl. Um, She's been there a few days. I have was scared of her at first, but now I've been grown quite accustomed to her. Anyway, excuse my breakout, I'm having a breakout on my chin, but, um, yeah, what was I going to say? I am literally just sorting myself out. I'm going to hopefully read some more of my book and hit, like, 100 pages in, because I've just been really busy and just haven't been, um, reading. My work life is really busy, so by the time it gets to bedtime, I want to go to sleep. Like, I'm good for no one, um, and I'm, like... In my TV era, I go through real stages of, like, watching TV and then, like, not watching TV. But at the moment, I'm watching Tell Me Lies. Um, and I've started re-watching the Harry Potter films because I feel like that's such a good fall activity um, when the weather kind of is on the turn. Like, romanticise it and watch Harry Potter. So, I've been doing that and I just haven't really been reading as much. Um, I've been, like, going on my phone. But I'm going to hopefully read some more of Credence. I want to do like a live reenactment of me reading Credence in public, okay? So, sorry, that was between my legs, but this is Credence on, on my Kindle. Let's pretend this is my Kindle, and this is me reading Credence in public. Ready? Every time someone walks past me, I'm like, what are you looking at? Nothing going on over here. I ain't reading about a girl sleeping with her uncle. Yeah. That'd be gross. But <laughs> I'm genuinely like every time someone walks past me, I was on the train tonight, and that was like this guy went to get up because it was his stop, and I was like, it looks like I'm, I like dropped my Kindle. It looks like I am up to no good, which technically I suppose I am up to no good reading this book, but. I think this book is popular because there is a lot of creepy people on the internet, and this proves it. I'm not even 100 pages in, to be honest. Um, it's just building up the sexual tension with the uncle, to be fair, and I haven't met Caleb yet, one of the other brothers. Hopefully meet him soon. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it, but that feels illegal to say because I'm not, I'm not like enjoying it because I'm like, wow, this is the best thing I've ever read. 
I'm just enjoying it because it's like takes no brain power. So I think if you get were to get into it and actually like read it, then it could be read quite quickly. I'm just really busy at the minute and I also am scared to read it in public. I think people are going to be judging me. And I don't really want to put it on my Goodreads either because I feel like people are going to judge me. Don't judge me. I'm doing it for YouTube purposes is what I'm telling myself. But I'm about 20% through, so let's see what the next 80% has in store. But yeah, book top books. Y'all are freaky. Y'all are freaky. I literally cannot get through Credence. Like, I can't read it. Like, it's making me so uncomfortable. She's like, Uncle Jake, Uncle Jake. And I'm pretty sure that they're literally about to sleep together. Like, guys, is, is this the type of book that we're making popular? Y'all need therapy. Y'all need to see someone about that. Because I'm sorry, like, I'm so uncomfortable. I'm literally 200 pages in. Well, yeah, just over 200 pages in. This book's 600 pages long as well, chaps. How much fucking can y'all do? Honestly. How much, again, can y'all do? 600 pages? Um, yeah, that's how my this popular book talk books video is going. I didn't really like Reckless. I'm not really. I'm just finding it so hard to get into Credence. Um, I'm probably going to read, like, another 100 pages. And then if it's bad, I'm just going to DNF it. Um, because... I kind of feel like my curiosity with this book has been answered. Like, everything I wanted to know has been answered. I know where it's going. I know what's going to happen.